Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Yeah, this is going to be a big national story, I believe. Uh, you know, this, a Category 5 hurricane right now, Lane. Luckily, it's going to weaken, but it is going to take a hook to the north, and it's going to be impacting the island chain. So this is in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, again, 160 mile an hour winds right now. It is forecast to weaken down to a category three, then a two. But you can see the most likely path takes it just offshore here, and it's still in the possible path to run over some of the islands. And so it's going to be very close. I think they're definitely going to be impacted by some heavy rain and some uh, tidal flooding, big waves. But you know, the strongest winds will they be offshore, just offshore, or will they you know cover the islands? We'll see. Stay tuned. We'll bring you updates. Lots of people have connections to the Wine Islands here. So let's have a look at it. We've got uh, high pressure down to the south. We're in a hot, humid zone. We're not going to see any tropical systems. The Atlantic's quiet, but we do have to contend with this cool front that's back to the west of us. That'll roll in late in the day. Behind it, we got some great weather, but ahead of it, hot and humid. Highs, low 90s this afternoon. Heat index will be in the upper 90s in some places. And then tomorrow, we dry things out. No rain, no storms. Highs near 80. Awesome weather. Thursday, Friday, that's the case. And then even though we heat up over the weekend, we're not going to see too much humidity bouncing back. Just uh, I think we'll stay dry through Sunday. Now, in the meantime, here it is, Super Doppler 10. Things were quiet for the morning commute. One lone stray shower there, southeast Bertie County, and that's about it. So I think future track is overdoing the 7 o'clock hour. Basically, we're going to see partly cloudy skies this morning with some isolated showers out there. It'll be isolated uh, and quiet all the way up till about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, notice, though, 3 o'clock, we start to see some activity between Petersburg and James City County and Gloucester County. That's going to drop to the southeast between 3 and 6 p.m. and produce some eh, heavy rainmakers and also a few strong storms. Could see some gusty winds because this is going to be the front moving through at this time. It might pick up some speed. It'll roll through Virginia Beach, and then later tonight, it'll be gone, and we'll dry things out. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow through the day, we've got a lot of sunshine. Morning, midday, afternoon, mostly sunny skies. Thursday looks great, and uh, we're doing pretty good the entire way through. Now today, though, later today, we've got a marginal risk for severe weather. It's the lowest category. Could see some strong, brief, gusty winds there, and also some heavy rain at times as that moves on through. It's all going to go away, though, overnight. Now our temperatures, mid to upper 70s. It's humid. We've got some cloud cover right now, but I think these clouds will break, and we'll get the sun back. We've got a southwest breeze coming in 8 to 12 miles an hour today. Uh, right now, it's really 5 to 15 miles an hour. So 88 degrees for a high Kilova Hills, 90 in Virginia Beach, 89 in Currituck, and then 91 in Norfolk, Portsmouth, 92 in Chesapeake. Lots of low 90s, but it'll feel like the upper 90s with the heat index. Now, we'll see a few shower storms there late in the day, but you're going to see the storms first around Kilmarnock, Gloucester, and Williamsburg, at least the bigger area of storms. And so uh, get ready for that. And then upper 80s in Hampton, 90 in Newport News, 88 Melfa. You'll get some of those shower storms later today as well. Beach forecast waves one to two feet. You got water temps in the upper 70s. Rip current risk is low. There will be some beach time today. There will be some sunshine, but just keep an eye to the sky late in the afternoon. Highs in the low 90s today, then we're near 80. Tomorrow and Friday and dry. Lows are going to be in the 60s and some inland spots, probably even in the 50s on a morning or two. We're dry over the weekend, highs in the 80s, and then we'll heat things up next week, but I still don't think the humidity will be too bad. 